So these are all four drawings from 1979, I believe, all by Rick Bartow. And when he was still signing R. Elmer, Elmer was his middle name and his father's name. And uh, 1979 is the year Rick quit drinking, got sober and never went back. Um, so stayed in sobriety the rest of his life. And he had been making art throughout the 70s, right after returning from Vietnam, but he burned everything, or for the, everything that I know of, everything that he said, because he claimed he didn't want to burden people with what he was making and expressing in the 70s. Then in 1979, when he got sober, um, he realized he had a talent that should be given more light. So the graphite is what he used throughout his life, graphite and pastel. He never used charcoal and he never used oil, um, but he used acrylic, graphite, pastel, soft pastel. And the erasure going on here, the gestures are, these are the beginning marks uh, with that Rick used as well. This solid, reflective graphite, um, uh, like a crow, like a raven, like a black seal, um, that Rick loved so much, the reflectiveness, um, but also then erasure, showing motion and gesture. Um, this silhouette, even, that you see throughout the hands, um, <laughs> Rick joked that he was terrible at drawing hands. Sometimes he would just put his hand on the paper and draw a silhouette, and he said be because he was terrible at drawing hands. Well, clearly he was genius with drawing the figure, and these are not just with his hand planted on the paper. But the silhouette line, um, he would continue throughout his life, even with very large-scale gestural drawings. He would make a strong silhouette and fill in with color or fill in the field. Um, the transformation imagery that we see in this one with the raven and the, um, the self, if you will, here in contemplation and reflection and then this maybe inner self image of himself, which very much looks like Rick, his mm -hmm. silhouette. And um, so the bird and the self in dialogue. The rhinoceros, this piece is um, unusual. I, I never heard Rick talk about a rhinoceros after this, but horned uh, creatures, definitely. He, he depicted elk and bull and deer uh, with, elk, with, with antlers, um, with horns. Um, the minotaur, the deer hunter, um, so the rhinoceros, he definitely, okay, in the early 80s, he did a series of work that were inspired by Egypt. And so it would make sense that an African animal, the rhinoceros, it's an iconic, um, storied and mysterious animal. It makes sense that he would, would look to it for inspiration. And Ulysses, this one, um, Bartow was uh, a constant reader. He probably checked out more books than half the city of Newport combined. Yeah, in 1979, he went through, that was his ma first major transformation year. People ask about the hands quite often. They're like, you know, why, where are all the hands coming from? What's going on with the hands? With, and, um, you know, one, one doctor that bought Rick's work uh, and was very thoughtful, she said, well, it, there's, you know, the sense of touch and healing that comes from, you know, healing comes from touch, but he knew he needed and wanted healing. And I, somewhere where it's not supposed to be, it, people kind of freak out. But then he said, if you scratch that eye out, or do something to that eye, then it really freaks people out. <laughs> and it, and I, it, I don't think Rick was doing it to instigate, to um, 
he wasn't doing it to taunt people to push their buttons, but in some ways, I think it was Rick unseeing what he saw in Vietnam. I mean, how do you get rid of, I mean, you just can't just bury that. All the artists that we're featuring are included on our website, frolicgallery.com.